to play, and so you want them to stick to their strengths. A lot of refs in the old days that went right to three. <laughs> Ford from 18, yes, sir. Arms. Step back, long two. He Wow. A little confidence there? <laughs> yeah. Step back. Yep, the eldest son of the legendary LeBron James finally hit the court against the Sacramento Kings in the California Classic. So how did it go? Let's break it down. The eldest son of the legendary LeBron James took the court against the Sacramento Kings in the California Classic, and the performance was a significant milestone in his young career. The game provided a fascinating glimpse into his potential, but it also highlighted areas that need improvement. In a 108-94 loss to the Kings, Bronny had a challenging night. He shot two for nine from the field, missed both of his free throws, and finished with just four points, two assists, two rebounds, and a steal. This debut, while underwhelming in terms of statistics, still offered several important insights into his game. One of the primary reasons for Bronny's struggles was his jump shot. Coming into the NBA as the no, 55 pick in last month's draft, there were already concerns about his shooting ability. On Saturday, those concerns were validated. Bronny attempted five shots from outside the paint and managed to sink only one. His only other basket came from a layup inside the paint, underscoring the need for improvement in his shooting consistency. His jump shot looked shaky throughout the game, a clear indicator that he will need to put in significant work to develop a reliable outside shot. This aspect of his game will be crucial if he is to succeed in the NBA where shooting is increasingly essential for all positions. However, it wasn't all doom and gloom for Bronny. Despite his shooting woes, he demonstrated a good feel for the game and showed that he knows how to play within an offensive system. He was decisive as a ball handler, making quick decisions that benefited the team's flow. One of the standout moments came when he turned a handoff into a quick drive for a layup, giving him his first professional points. This play highlighted his ability to read the game and execute timely moves, showcasing his potential to contribute effectively once he gains more experience and confidence. It defensively, Bronny's performance was more promising. Defense has been his best trait since high school, and he continued to show his skills on this end of the floor. He stayed active, accumulating several deflections and notching a steal. His best defensive play was when he sprang into a passing lane to nab a steal and immediately pushed it down the court. This led to a fast break score with a hockey assist to forward Blake Hinson, who then dumped it off to guard Kyle Mangus for an easy easy basket. This play illustrated Bronny's ability to turn defense into offense, a valuable skill for any player, especially a young prospect trying to carve out a role in the league. Later in the game, Bronny nearly secured another steal in the Kings' backcourt using the same quick burst to intercept a pass. However, he stepped on the sideline out of bounds before he could secure the possession. These moments of defensive brilliance are encouraging signs that Bronny can be a disruptive force on the perimeter. The Lakers hope that his game can translate into pestering perimeter defense, and any offense generated from that would be a bonus. Despite these positive signs, there are challenges that Bronny will need to overcome. His size, just under 6'2", presents a notable challenge in certain matchups. Typically, 3 and D players are longer wings who can guard multiple positions and shoot reliably from outside. Bronny's smaller stature means he will need to excel in other areas to make up for this disadvantage. His size limits his ability to defend multiple positions effectively, which is a crucial component for players in his projected role. Without developing a reliable jump shot, it's hard to see him securing a consistent role in the NBA. Another key point from the game was how Bronny handled the ball. Throughout the game, he was not utilized much as a primary ball handler. Whether it's a matter of trust or just not the role they see him playing, Bronny rarely brought the ball up the court or set up plays. This is interesting given his point guard size and his experience as a ball handler in high school. It appears the Lakers currently envision him in a different role, possibly more as a secondary playmaker rather than the primary facilitator. And this will be something to watch as he continues to develop and find his place within the team. Despite these early struggles, it's important not to get discouraged. Summer League performances do not dictate a player's entire career. Bronny has a long road ahead, and one game in the California Classic is just the start. 
he looked like the prospect many expected promising, but with areas that need improvement. The transition from high school to the NBA is monumental, and it often takes young players time to adjust to the speed, physicality, and skill level of professional basketball. Bronny's journey is particularly interesting given his background and the expectations placed upon him. As the son of one of the greatest players in NBA history, there is an added layer of pressure and scrutiny. Every move he makes will be closely watched, and every performance will be analyzed in the context of his father's legendary career. This can be both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, he has access to unparalleled resources, mentorship, and insight from LeBron James. On the other hand, he must navigate the constant comparisons and high expectations that come with being LeBron's son. A glimpses of brilliance in his debut, particularly on the defensive end, show that Bronny has the potential to carve out a successful career in the NBA. His defensive activity, especially at the point of attack, is a strong suit that can serve him well early on. His ability to stay active, anticipate passes, and create turnovers will be valuable assets as he continues to develop. However, to maximize his potential, he will need to address his shooting and ball handling to become a more versatile and reliable player. The Lakers coaching staff will play a crucial role in his development. They will need to identify his strengths and weaknesses and create a developmental plan that helps him grow in the areas where he is lacking. And this includes working on his shooting mechanics, decision-making, and defensive versatility. It's also important for the coaching staff to manage expectations and provide him with the right opportunities to succeed. Overloading him with responsibilities or placing him in situations where he is set up to fail could be detrimental to his confidence and growth. Bronny's debut also highlighted the importance of patience and perspective. Young players often face a steep learning curve when entering the NBA, and it's rare for them to immediately meet the high expectations placed upon them. Fans and analysts alike need to give Bronny the time and space to develop at his own pace. One game, especially in the summer league, should not be seen as a definitive measure of his potential or future success. And as the summer league progresses, it will be interesting to see how Bronny adjusts and improves. Each game provides him with valuable experience and feedback that he can use to refine his skills. Watching his development will be a storyline to follow, not just for Lakers fans, but for basketball enthusiasts in general. His journey from high school prospect NBA player is one filled with challenges, learning opportunities, and moments of growth. Bronny James' NBA debut was a mixed bag of highs and lows. He struggled with his shooting and faced challenges related to his size and role on the team. However, he also showed flashes of his potential, particularly on the defensive end, where his ability to turn defense into offense stood out. His journey is just beginning, and there is a long road ahead filled with opportunities for growth and improvement. As he gains more experience and continues to develop his game, Bronny has the potential to carve out a successful career in the NBA. The key will be patience, hard work, and the support of the Lakers coaching staff and 